Hey man, you ever looking to flatter? Okay, here I am back at one of my spots, my favorite spot, Pine Island. Um, I couldn't get in my normal spot uh, due to the water in my corner. It either rained the night before, and this water gets trapped in there, or it was a very extreme high tide, and the water get trapped in there. But as you see here, I'm looking for my Hernando Beach Islands. And they're not going to be found. Um, and I'll show you. You know, it, I always start off on this uh, corner to my south. And I'll zoom back out and show you it again. <clears throat> there it is. And it doesn't even, I mean, I mean, I can't even get it into focus, really, on this particular day. Um focus was very hard to do uh, due to the distortion um, humidity and these are the things most people have this disease and they don't even know it um, it's actually two diseases um, it's called curvitis and refractionitis you know if they can't explain it away with saying it went over the curve then they say well it's refraction pulling the object back up but what's really interesting here is that my normal level I, I can see but due to this refraction uh, where it's refraction and magnification most likely um, what it does is it magnifies the floor upward and magnifies the sky downward or anything farther in the distance downward um, this is a thing that magnification does um, and here I go. <clears throat> I'm going to take my camera, go up on top of this observation deck, um, extend my camera all the way up. Uh, I forget what it is, um, you know, five feet, something like that. So I'm going to go up uh, on this observation deck and have my camera all the way extended. And we can check out and see what I see but this is going to be a little comparison video and uh, you know, like I said most people that have this curvitis they'll tell you well you know we can see the curve from a plane and then some say well we can see the curve from a mountain so you can see it they say it curves well I've been on a plane and I've been on mountains and I don't see no curve now there's a video with Neil deGrasse Tyson, the great physicist, you know, of all time. Um, and he, he'll tell you from uh, Alex Bumgartner's uh, near space jump. He, uh, he basically says, you see the curvature in the footage? He says, ah, that's caused by a fisheye lens. He said, from that height, the earth would look flat. It would look flat. So... Again, how far do you need to be up to actually see the curve? I guess you got to be in outer space, which none of us will ever go. But we've had distilled in us through our, our education system um, <laughs> that we live on this curve. So here, here is uh, that little gap in between the islands that I'll be showing in the next footage. And I'll be much lower than in both shots. Uh, both from down below on the uh, at the ground level or on the up off the seawall and then my next one's going to be down below the seawall 
different days, different visibility. And this is where, you know, somebody will bring in the refractionitis. They've got this refractionitis on them, even though they have very little clue of what it actually is. Yes, light does bend, but it's not going to bend up over a curve and on the other side and pull shit up. That's just a fantasy uh, misbelief that we, you know, people were taught. Now, this is from... Uh, 28 inches up on my um, camera and I'm going to be down below the seawall now it is a low tide so the water does go out a little bit from where I'm at but I cannot see myself being no more than three feet off the water now watch just a little bit to the left of your screen you're gonna see two guys come off the shoreline they're going to walk across and they're going to go over toward their boat. Now, this pretty much tells me I'm seeing the whole shoreline, which in the previous portion of the video, you couldn't even see these islands. So did the islands, uh, um, I mean, miraculously fall off the face of the curve? Uh, was that the curve before or is this the curve now um, these islands are 4.84 miles away from me at this particular point um, so at three feet off the water uh, where does that put the horizon um, I should not be seeing these people walking off the shoreline and walking in the water waiting in the water um, and you can see they are distorted, but <laughs> this is a lot more clear than the very first part. Um, you couldn't make out much in the very first part due to the fact that um, refraction was occurring at a higher rate. This <clears throat> mirroring effect, refraction, um, magnification, they all, they're all playing roles in what you see. And like I said, you got that magnification uh, things seem to get pulled up at the surface and beyond seems to get uh, appear to be pulled down but this is just uh, optical illusions caused from the refraction so again the higher the refraction um, the less you're going to see when you start getting better visibility it's less refraction plain and simple I mean you, I mean you can go on websites and figure out how they determine visibility it's pretty interesting and you know it's kind of funny how they can determine it in a, in a really a short distance but they do so again um, you know when I get a thing on my um, phone where you know I check the weather and it says that vis vis visibility is at um, say 10 miles um, yeah, usually I have a good, pretty good day of visibility, and then uh, other times I don't, um, due to the fact that I am filming over water. There is um, Wikiwachi River, which is a spring-fed river that pours like 72 degree water into the Gulf of Mexico, and when it's mixing with the warm water, um, I can get an average temperature or something just offshore. And as I go further offshore, like in the last video I did, um, before my waterfall video, um, you can obviously see this water change and, you know, even the, the water line changing and then all of a sudden you started getting this mirroring effect. Not, not only was it a mirroring effect, but it was also a magnification effect. Um, which you could tell with uh, some of the people in the boats how they looked uh, they were further away and some of the other videos and then when I got out further in the water um, you know the boat could have been closer but I also think that there was some magnification going on there because all of a sudden that boat that really was closer appeared to be getting cut off and that is not the curvature folks that's why I say the curvature is an illusion and what happens like right now if I even had better better 
visibility, I'd see water beyond this land. So you would say, well, where's your eye level, Dave? Well, my eye level is not three feet out here. It's actually higher uh, due to perspective. Um, it, it seems to drop things down, um, which is a part of perspective. <laughs> it's, it's not a trick. It's just the way our eyes work and where eye level would actually be. And I think my eye level would be definitely above these guys. Um, <clears throat> Uh, somebody might say, well, you know, that, that would prove a concave dirt. And, and no, I, I don't think so because I could put a level on my camera, zoom out to the Bayport Rack, which is approximately 3.5 miles out, and set it on a level. And actually where it shows level at would be actually higher than that rack. Or my, my 28 inches would be more like six feet on that rack um which is interesting now one day i'm gonna i'll try to film that but you know it's hard to film your your uh, camera with another camera or a, even a cell phone and show that it's level because the green just doesn't show up green and that's when it actually shows that you're level you'll have a green dot in the middle and green lines on each side of the middle um and then you have to film it with without turning your camera on because once you turn your camera on that uh, symbol goes away again you know is this the curve or was it the curve in the beginning or where does the curve start and where does the curve end because again um, I've been out you know 28 inches off the water and filming uh, not only Cutters Rock which is 11.22 miles out I've been 30 inches off the water film uh, the pine or the Crystal River power plant and pretty much see lights in the parking lot on a good crystal clear night where visibility at it is at one of its best and here your refraction itis will say oh it's refraction bending bending the earth upward to where you could see it that, that now just listen to that and see if that makes sense it's bending what's beyond the curve upward to where it is within your visibility range. This is crazy. Why we would even believe that is beyond me. And here you can see this guy walking back up the shoreline. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, have get you some uh, medicine for that disease.